What it do, what it do, what it do, what it do, what it do. Be back at y'all with another what one. Doing? What's cracking, cuz? What's popping, cuz? Not know. much chilling. Slow motion. So sure. Let's jump. Let's jump right on into it. Normally, I like you know I like to say I like to stay basketball like game related, but I, I can't let this Paul Pierce thing slip by. Like we got to talk about Paulie Pierce. Man. You know what I'm saying? How boy, how boy, how boy, summer Paul. You know what I'm saying? Whether just right. y'all here. Right. Oh, so shoot. I'm going to let you go ahead and dive in first, Paul. Man, real talk, man. Like, man, I think at the end of the day, it's just like this nigga, this nigga been in the, he been in the league forever. You know what I mean? It's not even just about the NBA. After post NBA, my man been into the whole, you know what I mean? Like being into the to the uh, media and, and and doing all that. He worked for ESPN for three years at the end of the day. And at the end of the day, it's just like my man know the business aspect of the game. He know what he's supposed to do and what not he or or what not. You know what I mean? It's just like he know the whole ins and out of this whole industry which he worked, which he had a clean record all the way up until this point. At the end of the day, this nigga knew what he was doing. He knew he was leaving ESPN or he had something else up under his sleeve. Either he knew he was leaving ESPN or he knew ESPN was going to get rid of his ass. Either way, he went out his way. He went out with a bang. My man didn't come back there talking about, you know, I'm sorry, I apologize. You ain't hear none of that statement from Paul Pierce. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, it's just like, you think my man really going to have a job like the one that he has and really be on Instagram live with hoes, smoking weed, all this type of shit. No, not at all. He did that shit because he wanted to. You know what I mean? And dumb niggas keep thinking like, oh, like, why do you do that? He lost his job, man. He don't give a fuck about that shit. He not like me or you. You know what I mean? Like, he not like a regular dude with a regular job. This nigga is a fucking multi-millionaire. This nigga know what the hell he doing. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, I think they making a big thing out of nothing. You know what I mean? It's just like he showed some little white hoes on Instagram. Okay. He smoked a little weed on Instagram. Okay. At the end of the day, it's just like he did what like he did exactly what he wanted to do. And that was his way of getting out. Either white, right or wrong. You know what I mean? Like whichever way you want to put it, right or wrong, he got up out of there his way at the end of the day. So you know what I mean? Like niggas just sound stupid. You know what I mean? For like for saying he was wrong or he he shouldn't have did that. Man, I'm, like I'm getting tired of niggas being so politically correct about everything. Everything don't have to be done your way or a certain way. You know what I mean? He wanted to go out his way. So, you know what I mean? I ain't see a big deal about it. And I still don't. So well, after all of that. I think like <laughs> I think like shit. He probably just got sick of having a job. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you've been retired yeah. and you got a and you like he would probably I mean, be honest, like why not just say what I wanna say on the internet anyway? And don't have Exactly like I'd rather be like I rather be, he probably would rather be able to do what like stacks do, you know what I'm saying? Just say whatever the fuck he want to say, and don't nobody care. You feel me? Versus like, come on, man, you know when you work for ESPN, bro, everything you say is like, don't say this, don't say that, don't say this. He like y'all put me on this motherfucker and tell me what Talk I can. Talk about LeBron all day. No, and tell it's me what a, I can and can't say. Balls. You know what I'm saying? Tell me what I can and can't say anyway. So he probably like, man, fuck that shit. Because, I mean, he really wasn't doing, I mean, it's like, from, like, a regular world standpoint, he ain't, do, like, he smoked a little, like, you just, weed is legal, bro. You smoke weed. He in Cali, probably. Like, so what? Right. You know what I'm saying? So, so what? Yeah. That was like, but like, yeah, that 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 just like considering like I don't even ever remember nothing of that surfacing like that of Paul Pierce even when he was playing. 
right? Exactly. That's so, what I'm saying. So I would have to think, like, after giving this some thought, I think it's, I think this shit was calculated. It was like, it's like if you go to work one day, right, and you don't fuck with your boss, and you're going to be like, I'm going to just do anything I got to do today to get fired. They're going to fire me today. Shit, I didn't got to listen. Real life story, right? So when Kaden was born, right, I was trying to get mm-hmm. on unemployment because I was trying to get the fuck up out of there, right? So you know what I did? I called the motherfuckers every day and was like, I can't come into work today. I ain't got a babysitter. I did that shit for like two weeks and it just showed up to work so they fired me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Niggas didn't calculate it. It's hard to calculate that shit. Then I flipped it, got it, you know what I'm saying? Ate off Marvin, flipped it to some, you know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, boom. It was calculated. So, I mean, the nigga worth like 40 M's, bro. Like, and who else know what other, other business ventures and shit he got going on? So, he probably said, fuck that shit. I mean, a lot of money is relative. Yeah, a million a year sound like a lot to a regular motherfucker, but a nigga that was making goddamn in the teens of millions million. and up, like, that shit, man. Well, all right. That's he not made enough. $10 million. Like, that's not over, enough. To, like, over. But that ain't enough to own me, though. You feel me? Like, that ain't enough money for me yeah, to do exactly. some shit I don't want to do. Right. Now, for real. That nigga, like, 50. I'm like, I'm a shit. Whatever y'all want me to say on this motherfucking shit. <laughs> yeah, but it's like a certain level. But, like, it's like a certain level. Of 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 brainwash you have to have to work for these uh big media corporations. You know what I mean? It's yeah. just like you can't be a hundred percent your true self. And a lot of these uh uh ex athletes, they already know what the deal is. And you got some people that go along with the uh, with the okie doke. They go along with the agenda, and they be like, "Man, look, I'm just gonna." I'm just going to say whatever I got to say to get a check and whatever else they got to do. But he don't seem like he that type of nigga. That's why he don't seem like he that type of nigga. If you think about it, bro, that's why it's not a lot of like niggas that really got the bag in the league that be in the media like that. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. You got niggas like Kendrick Perkins and shit. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas, they might really need that couple of dollars. Those fake ass niggas. You know what I'm saying? Man, you told bitch you want Nigga, like his bitch ass won shit in the league, so you know he ain't gonna be shit in the media. <laughs> get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, I mean, Kendra guy, you know what I'm saying? He cool. Man, that nigga was trash, nigga. I'm talking about, on, man, I'm, talking about I'm not talking about in the league. I'm talking about the media. He all right. It's like. Man, man he sounds dumb as hell. Man, no, catch a purpose. But, man. This is, but this is what it is, though. Like. <laughs> Niggas will make sense, but it all depends on the topic. It all depends on the people right. involved. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like if, don't say that name. Nigga, don't say that name. Don't say it. Don't say it. But I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Don't say it. As long Niggas as that ain't the subject game. matter, as long as they ain't got <laughs> nothing to do with that, comparing to that, or that, to this, to do, to do, to do, to do, to do, to do, to they make sense. They act like mm-hmm. they just no basketball. Soon as that topic come up, exactly. this nigga just went special ed. This nigga exactly. just this nigga just went from from motherfucking nationalized society to the short bus overnight, <laughs> quick, fast. Like God damn, <laughs> same shit. Same reason why you think Skip left ESPN. He got sick of Skip used to be on fucking first take like this. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you silly. <laughs> he used to be on that motherfucker just rocking. You know why motherfucker used to be on that bitch just rocking because he wanted to say some shit so bad? Right. <laughs> yeah, real talk. <laughs> that's, like when you're t- that's like when you're a teenager and, and, and you be wanting to cuss at your parents but you ain't that brave yet, so that shit kind of slipped. You just bite it, so you don't see it. Right. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> that motherfucker skip used to be on that motherfucker like. 
You know, that's why he used to always bang on the table. You notice he used to always bang on the table? Right. Real <laughs> He'd talk. take his fucking notes and be like, ah! Because <laughs> <laughs> he got sick of not being able to say shit. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But. Man, like that shit is, yeah, like that shit crazy, but. You know what I mean? Like, I just think they made something out of nothing. You know what I mean? It's just like, it was something because it was something just because he put it on social media for all to see. Right? So, Mm -hmm. and he know he did it. Like, you know, like, he just had his, without being so, you know, going, going way left and going deep into it. He knew what he was doing. He did it and he got the result from his actions. He knew what his action was gonna bring. He knew his actions was gonna yeah, bring what it was, this man. type of discipline. So that's what, like, that's what it was. You know what I mean? So, hey, like, you know, he he got tired of working for Disney and ESPN. So he said, "Fuck y'all, I'm out." You know what I mean? And nigga, that was it. Man, you know, Disney dealing fiction. Man, he got sick of speaking fiction on the on TV and getting paid. For it. Right. Man, Off thought, top, I thought this shit was supposed to be facts. I think like like you just realize it ain't really what you thought it was. Right, you know real talk. And he probably gets yeah. Like, and I feel like how the media work now is like the basketball media is the reverse, bro. It's the dumbest shit in the world. It's like, wait a minute, you spent you forty years old, right? You retired in your thirties. Yeah. Right, you tired. Let's just throw mm-hmm. these all fake numbers, but you're gonna get my point. You retired at 40. I mean, no, you you is for you 40 now. You retired at 36. You probably start playing basketball at six. You've been playing basketball, dedicated your life to basketball for 30 years, but you don't know shit about basketball, bro, right? You don't know shit about basketball, right. but this this nerd nigga that ain't never made a team just went to school, got a job, he the expert. He is the basketball expert. He the go-to guy. And what fucking world is this? Exactly. Song? So when we when you want to have surgery, you talk world. Look, Frank is Frank is speaking truth. Listen, when you want to have surgery, truth. don't go to the doctor that went to school for the shit. Just go to <laughs> don't go to the motherfucker that didn't did it before. Don't go to him. Go to the motherfucker that been reading blogs exactly. about how to do it. Don't go to the motherfucker that actually even did the surgery a hundred times. Don't go to him. Mm-mm. Go to the motherfucker that just that just read a couple books on it, but they never did it. Like, come on, that shit's stupid. Right, who read a couple books on it? Yeah, that's probably why. But he never did this shit. So yeah, man, like that shit, like trouble, like that shit, like that shit too political, man. All that political shit, and and, and it's just like it's just like with anything else, like far as you know, like I know. People with all this scientific shit and this and this, like all that data shit and science and all that is just like the same shit in the NBA, full of bullshit. All that data and and uh and, and this over here, this man, all them stats, this data stats and these whatever, whatever, man. Listen, man, all that shit is a bunch of bullshit. You know what I mean? Well, like analytics. at the end of the day, Analytics, yeah, all that. Like, I mean, I think, like, yeah, I think, I think, like, data. I don't think analytics is totally bullshit, right? But yeah. it just don't. But no, it just don't mean as much as they try to make it mean, right? It's like saying, like, who know, like, so what the fuck? It was some movie with Taraji, right? Where she was doing the math, right? She knew how to do all the math problems and work them bitches out. So that's like saying a nigga who really know how to do it is better than a nigga who need a calculator. Right? If I can just watch the shit and tell you, why the fuck, how the nigga that need all these stats and shit better than me when he need a cheat sheet? I don't need a motherfucking cheat sheet. I don't need it. I'm good. I don't need a cheat sheet. I he's smarter than me when I can do this. I don't need a motherfucking, I don't got to go look at the stats and then make my argument. I can make my argument off watching the game, and that's it. So that's how all the time. It. It's like you know, what? yeah. Oh, um, no, like go ahead, my bad. Go ahead. It's, it's all it's all a way for the Joes to get involved. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree with you. Back I in the day, think you. about it. Where did basketball debates happen originally? 
after fucking playing. That's what niggas talking about mm-hmm. basketball. You be you be sitting around, talk about the game, talk about this player, that player. Man, that nigga better than that nigga. Duh, 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 duh. The next thing you know, you got a basketball today. That's where this shit originated. That's the roots of it. Then you get all That's the analytics, the and he shot this and this and this from the field, and he did this, and it's so many other variables that matter with stats. Man, so, it's so many var. It's like you know. Like, you know, like, you know, like, you know, when I knew analytics was bullshit and all that data keeping and, 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 and all that nerd talk was when they made a case going by the analytics that LeBron was the most clutchest player in NBA history over Mike, over Kobe, over any of those guys that's known to be clutch individuals. And how they still bring analytics up now to say, like, once again, this whole, this like this whole, this whole uh, 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 narrative that they're trying to run with, even with the uh, Andre Drummond thing, analytics says Drummond has been the best rebounder over thirty six minutes ever. So they give him the title of being one of the best, re- being the best rebounder ever, even older even over Dennis Rodman. And the thing is, it's just like, you got to know what you're looking at. Like, when you're looking at, like, better players or whatever else, like, that's when I... It's all about the eye test with me. You know what I mean? Like, you got to see it to believe it. Like, it's all about what you see. It ain't about what you read on the sheet and you're going by 36 and this and this. I look at it That's some bullshit. Analytics is like, okay, let's just say if I'm a scout, right? And I'm looking at all the players' right. stats. And I'm like, okay, he averaged 40. He averaged 40. Per 48 minutes. So, right. Okay. Let me watch him play, right? Let's just say it's like high school level, right? Like, oh, he's seven foot. And everybody, it's like a it's like an old Wilt situation. Like he's seven foot, but everybody in his in his league he playing is five ten. 170 pounds, and he Kwame Brown, right? You put Kwame Brown in that, he's going to look like a phenom. And he's going to get he gonna to look the league like a phenom. He's going to look like a So, to me, yep. that's is just something to get you to pay attention to, to for the eye test. But the eye test, to me, is the ultimate end goal in test, is the eye test. Yeah. Like, put it yeah, like this. Like you got to see it to believe it. Like, put it like this. It's the eye test. Houston went solely off analytics and where they where they take them. Houston was the team that everything analytics, 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 shoot more threes. They flamed out all listen, them threes, listen. all them threes by the analytics. They were saying like they was gonna make these many threes or listen. they hit these many threes at this rate, and then none of that shit happened when it got to the real look, motherfucking look, game. Look, remember, on, remember, on, remember on Harlem Lights when when Eddie Murphy was like, "It ain't how many people you shoot, it's who you shoot." Yeah, it ain't how many threes you shoot. Is who the fuck shooting them? <laughs> you know what I'm saying I don't give a fuck. How you can shoot a thousand yeah, threes, nigga? If you got, it's a different. See, the problem is you can't recreate a playing style without the talent to do it. You know what I'm saying? That's right. what the teams fuck up. Well, Golden State shot threes, so we gonna shoot threes. Do you know who they had shooting? They had the bitches? personnel to do it. Do you look who was shooting them? They had the personnel to do it. Right. But then the crazy part is the teams that had the best chance of beating them normally was teams that was big or pause. <laughs> teams that had pause. some they strength was, was Golden State weakness. You're not about to out Golden State, Golden State in their pinnacle. That's not gonna happen. You gotta hit them somewhere where they weak at. You can't outshoot them. That's right. not gonna work. So Yeah. Yeah, you ready to you ready to move on to, to the next one? The next one, kind of. Nigga, yeah, come on, nigga, let's go, nigga. We own it, nigga. You don't gotta oh. ask me, nigga. We own it, nigga. Let's roll. What you? I just want to make sure you. You know what I'm saying? You, I don't want to cut you off. I want you to get anything you got to say off your chest, big fella. Oh no, yeah, like I'm good on that one. I'm good on that one. They already so, know how I feel. Let's. Oh, this is you gonna light up on this one here. This one going. This one gonna raise your blood pressure. All right, you got your blood pressure medicine. <laughs> yeah, all right, got it. 
what do you think about LeBron trying to recruit Steph Curry? Uh, Tim Buku? Don't be trying to be cool because I said you're going to need your blood pressure medicine, mm-hmm. nigga. No, no, no. Like, no, it's like it's typical. It's typical. It's typical shit. It's typical LeBron James type of uh man. Is 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 it's LeBron at his finest when it comes to him masquerading what he really is and how he really is. It goes just like this. LeBron James fans be saying all the time, just like like they said this shit. When Brooklyn Got all their players, all their new acquisitions or whatever like that. And everybody had such a big deal. Everybody had a big deal about it. Oh, nigga, like they getting all these players to be the 36-year-old. But nigga, low-key LeBron been doing this shit for jump. And you can criticize Kevin Durant for getting James Harden and going to play with Kyrie and going to get Blake Griffin and, and, and LaMarcus Aldridge and all these type of different guys or whatever. And the media takes strike. They want to hold, like, every segment for a week straight. They trying to go hard on, they trying to go hard on, on Kevin Durant and say why this is going to diminish his legacy and whatever else. But then when LeBron, but then when a the news break, when a nigga like Brian Windhorst, uh, uh, who, who's, a, who's another LeBron dick sucker, you know what I mean? And this nigga come out and he says it like LeBron been recruiting Steph Curry ever since the All-Star game. Now everybody got their motherfucking mouth closed. All them niggas on Cooler Talk, y'all got your motherfucking mouth closed. Now y'all don't want to say nothing. You know what I mean? Because it's benefiting your man. When it's something going against LeBron, who's going to beat LeBron, then it's like you cry, oh, you doing all this for a 36-year-old? <laughs> and you got his little hoe-ass son, Bronny, on the internet. Starting to rave. Oh, you doing this all for a 36-year-old, but y'all niggas ain't saying this shit when the shoe is on the other foot. And he doing this, and he doing this stack pile and shit. Get the fuck out of here, man. Like, at the end of the day, LeBron is just a typical you ain't shit without your homeboy type of player. You know what I mean? Like, he already, like, he tried to, like, he tried to migrate this whole uh 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 Anthony Davis and try to go get Paul George. They couldn't get Paul George. Now he's trying to go get Kawhi Leonard. Did none of that shit pan out? But Kevin Durant was like, "Watch this. My shit gonna work." And what he did, it worked, right? So now LeBron got to try to somehow, you know what I mean, one up that. You know what I mean? But ain't nobody saying saying nothing about it when he do it. You see what I'm saying? So it's just like nigga, like y'all got to keep this shit consistent. Y'all can't be down another nigga throw pause like when the shit is 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 working against LeBron. Then y'all be down on knees with your chin up with LeBron on some type time. You know what I mean? So it's like I said, like that's why I be calling all them niggas and cooler talks some male groupies because they be on the same type time. So nigga, like only thing I'm saying, nigga, like just keep it even kill all the way around. If you feel like this with Kevin Durant, then you feel the same way about LeBron when he do it. You know what I mean? Don't have to ask me with nothing. You know what? You know what I got to say about it, goddamn it. You know what I got to say? What up? Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. And that's what the fuck KD was. Okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. You want to go to Cleveland? You want to get Kyrie blood? You want to get Kevin Love? Cool. Okay. Okay. I got something for you. I'm going to go over there. And you're going to do the little, your usual, all dominant, hot potato. Give it to Kyrie to save my right. ass. You know what I'm saying? Same way it was, was with Wade. All right. Time for some real big shit. Let me get that bitch to Wade. How I'm going to get my bitch ass in the corner. Now you, now Kyrie is that for you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my, my hot potato, hot potato, get my stats. Hot potato, hot potato, hot potato, hot potato, get my stats. Oh, shit. We got to win the game. Go ahead, Kyrie. I'm going to watch you. So what? Oh, right. So, so what? 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 Durant said was, okay. I see. I see the flaw in that, right? So, right. You got three stars, right? 
but you really only using two of them. So, yeah. If I go over here to go to state and I fit in, I play how they play, right? Because I'm skilled enough, skilled enough to play different type of ways. I don't have to be ball dominant, be basically a point guard parading as a small forward because the stats look better historically against small forwards versus point guards. But I'm going to play in the system where everybody eats. So now we can maximize all three of ours. Because all I know is this. 25 times three is a lot more than 25 times two. You know what I'm saying? Right. So all that, I didn't have enough help. No, he just didn't maximize his talent. That's all. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So he did it for Golden State. Then, okay. Grant left Golden State. Had his little year off or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Had his injury or whatever. LeBron go to L.A., you know what I'm saying? He go make – he mm-hmm. he have Anthony Davis do the exact same thing James Harden did, force his way out of, uh, you know what I'm saying, New Orleans to come play with LeBron, and James Harden did the exact same thing to force his way out of Houston to come play with Kevin Durant. Do him, listen here. Them two niggas' careers is like Ken and Raul, just four five, that's a couple years behind. Like if one the little brother and one the big brother, they like three years apart, but they look like twins. Like that's how right. they air a marriage. Exactly. They, that's how their careers marry each other as far as their moves they made. You know what I'm saying? When LeBron was in Cleveland, yeah. every team LeBron been on, he got every old, got a little bit of left nigga in the league. And every old one, exactly. Every fucking Miller, Ray Allen, he got every one of them. Went to went to Cleveland, got goddamn J.R. Smith, uh, Ramon Shumpert. He had a, shit. He had old ass uh, Sean Marion, Kyle Carver. Like he got every little any. any Isaiah buddy. Thomas, Dwayne Wade, Dead Rose, right. Jay Crowder. Right. But the difference is that this is the difference. LeBron is a one. Only time he played a little bit different, he do with AD because he got to dump it down AD on the post, right? But even with Schroeder, even with Schroeder being another ball dominant player, AD numbers been going down, right? Yeah, but this is the catch twenty two, right? If if uh, let's just say back in the day, like Shaq, right? If he ain't getting the ball, if he ain't getting his numbers, you know what he gonna say? You ain't feeding me, right? Because that's how it is with a big. Right. You have to feed the big, right? So if AD numbers down, since people love analytics, let's start talking about touches. But why when his touches down? The facilitator isn't to blame. Hmm. Why? Because yeah. we know that the facilitator is never to fucking blame. That's why. You can't blame me for my shots to, shots to be down. Nigga, you got to get me the ball. I'm not a, I'm not a guard. You got to get me the motherfucking Even field. though I'm more skilled right. than you, you technically. Skilled. Even though I'm technically more skilled, skilled than you. Because I shoot better than you. I'm a better exactly. free throw shooter than you. And I got more moves than you. But still, you the guard. You are the facilitator. You got to get me the ball. Just like Rondo was. Mm -hmm. So, what Kevin Durant did was, he took the same, this is what he did. It's just like, like you say you want to learn how to cook spaghetti, right? So, you go on the Mm -hmm. internet, Google spaghetti recipe. You make it the first time and be like, it's all right. Then what you do, you start putting a little nigga on it. Let me put a little seasoning on this. A little seasoning. We're gonna ask, you know, niggas love putting cheese on everything. Put a little cheese, a little <laughs> parmesan. You know what I'm saying? You get to freaking it out. We're gonna parmesan. do three different meats. Pause. You feel me? We're gonna freak it out. All KD did was take uh-huh. the LeBron recipe and was like, oh, Big Mama, go freak that out for me. Put a little nigga on it. That's all he did. Yeah. You know, Big Mama take. A box of goddamn hamburger helper, <laughs> and that shit is that shit taste like Olive Garden when she get done. 
<laughs> big mama. Big mama. Big mama. Big mama. He, he Not went to this big, whole he went to big mama. They ain't taking no hand for hand for niggas to take no out of the garden. Just think about this. The difference is. <laughs> the difference is. KD, Harden, and for one, they all actually friends, right? In real life. Right? Exactly. So, all that, listen, and all that selfish and who's going to get the most shots and, bro, never in the history of a nigga them has a nigga, I'm going to look at you like, bro, you shot it four times, bro. I ain't shot it. Yet. Like, don't nobody think, like, don't no Hoopers think like that. Cause I can go shoot the bitch anytime I want to too. Like they all can create exactly. their own shots. They all can shoot it whenever the fuck they want to shoot it. Like ain't nobody counts. Ain't nobody. Man, he shot it seven times and only shot it four. Like, ain't nobody thinking like that. They actually who? Ain't nobody thinking like that, especially when they this deep into their career. They that's just worried what, about a fucking ring. That's but that's, what but about. that's but that's where the goddamn. That's where the goddamn analytic motherfuckers come in because they don't have that logic because they can't fucking play. You know what I'm saying? All this exactly. man, play the game the right way. Some days James Harden might go for 40, just like Golden State was. Clay went for 60 one night when some niggas like, I didn't get enough shots. It don't, whoever hot feed them. It's simple. Basketball is simple. Simple. You got three dudes you but can't you know guard. What? You got three, hold on. You got three dudes you can't guard. A penetration dribble and the right pass, you will get an open shot every goddamn play. That's it. You can't guard me. I go by you. You help. Pass, 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 pass. Somebody fucking open. The shit ain't rocket science. The shit ain't rocket right. science. You're going to double one of us. You're going to come help off somebody, or it's going to be a layup. Pass. Three, two right. passes, three passes, somebody fucking open. If it's a bad team, shit, one pass, somebody open. It ain't goddamn rock. They ain't doing yeah. no. It ain't fucking long division. They doing all they doing is making the right basketball play. But that's it. This, this, oh, but this, you know what this go back to? What I always be saying? Fuck having a facilitator, right? That shit's overrated. All that I get my teammates involved. No, have a team mm -hmm. full of players that make the right play. That's what it's about. Yeah. You don't need one guy that just facilitate, facilitate, facilitate. That shit. That's overrated. You want a team that buy in to getting the taking the best shot. You know what I'm saying? Just like I was watching the game the other yeah. night. And um they were saying that uh what's his name? What's damn, what's the shooter name? I can't remember his name. Joe Harris. He had passed up an open shot, right? And KD walked over to him and was like, shoot that bitch. Shoot. You better let that mm -hmm. money shoot that motherfucker. He ain't passed up an open shot. Sense because true scorers know that. Listen, true scorers know, like, look, bro, I need you to knock down shots so I can get one on one coverage. If I get one on one coverage, nigga, it's a bucket every time. I want exactly. you to knock them shots exactly. down. That make it easier for me. That's it. If they don't have to respect That's you, it. they gonna say and try to guard me more. Then I'm gonna have to deal with a fucking triangle trap. So then there's a nigga here, exactly. a nigga there, a nigga there. No. I'm going to kick it. You shoot that bitch every time and knock them bitches down. And now they got to play me even. Knock now they them down because you're going to be fucking open. You exactly. Listen, having to play them three even is pretty much like not guarding them. You can't guard them even. You can't guard them one on one. You can, you so if you I got to make you pay that. for helping, you can't do shit about it. Oh, right. And then, on top you of can. that, on top of another him getting the right pieces, right? Okay, we can argue all day who better, Drummond or or um, Jordan, right? DeAndre Drummond or DeAndre Jordan, right? Who better right now? Whatever. Who cares? But at the end of the day, they the same type of player, right? Right. They pretty much they 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 pretty much rim protect, live threat, rebound. That's it. That's mm -hmm. pretty much it. So we already got that. Blake and um, no, I'll be having those damn brain farts with these player names. Lamarcus and Lamarcus, they two totally different type of players. They can play yeah. together. You see, you can't put. This is the thing. This this is why I always say it's about. This is why I say 
KD be one up to LeBron because he maximized the talent versus just stacking it on yeah. him. It's just put, put it like this. Yeah. If you got Drummond, why the fuck would I do the same thing that they just left? If I got Drummond and DeAndre Jordan, what's that's the same as problem Cleveland had. I can't play JaVale McGee and fucking Drummond at the same goddamn time. In a three point shooting league. I can't do that. Oh my god. You know what I'm saying? That don't make sense. Drummond about to get man, about Pete, to get his but ass. But Pete. But Pete. Quiet as it's kept. Blake Griffin, damn, they're the same fucking size as goddamn DeAndre Drummond. Like, they're not missing shit. Exactly. He pretty, he's 6'9", like 6'10". You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. exactly. He ain't, yeah, exactly. But the difference is, Blake is a skilled big. He's not skilled to the point of a LaMarcus, but he 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 can knock down a jump shot. He can knock down a, he, he's a threat. He's a three-layer threat. You see what I'm saying? So he don't fuck up the spacing. Mm-hmm. He can come all the way out to the three ball and you still got a guard. You know what I'm saying? He hit a damn 35 like, footer bro, last night. Just like prime example, you remember when you remember when when the Lakers back in the day when they had Bynum? Mm-hmm. And Bynum was a, a great rim protector. You know, and 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 and, and he could score in the post too. But the thing was, it was just like when they played against certain teams, Bynum, he was a hindrance to the Lakers squad because it was just like him being out there on the floor, he was going to get stretched and he was going he was going to get blue by all the time. So niggas was getting down on a nigga damn near every night when they were playing against certain teams that had a stretch five or had a big that was mobile. You feel me? So like I feel like it's going it's just Quiet as kept. Niggas gonna see it. Like niggas think that this is a video game. Niggas think Drummond just gonna be down there blocking shots, grabbing rebounds, all that type of shit. And that's what he's gonna do for the entire game. Cause it's always the other end of the ball where you gotta actually guard someone. You feel me? Right. You gotta guard somebody, cuz. Right. Nigga, it's always the other side of the ball, cuz. So like you're gonna have to guard somebody, and guess what? Nigga, that's when your ass gonna get done. And at the end of the day, I don't care who they played. Like they could play, they could play Denver. They could play because you know MB own this nigga. Let's keep this shit legit. You did, you know, you know Joel and B own this nigga. Right. And you they tell me, go, nigga, they're not going to see them in the playoffs, though. Oh no, nigga! Like they yeah, ain't going to see it the because, season, though. But yeah, 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 yeah. But 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 still, I'm just saying all in all, like even if they if they even if Philly end up getting to the finals, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, and they played against the Lakers. We like all this hypothetical. Right. You know what I mean? It's just like get his ass done because right. like he been owning this nigga for the longest. But it's just like mm-hmm. it, like they play against the Lakers in the Western Conference or whenever, second round, whenever they play uh uh I mean th- not the Lakers, but Brooklyn. In the in the in the finals, like that's what I want to see. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind seeing the Lakers go back to the finals to play Brooklyn, so Kevin Durant can get his motherfucking shine. You feel me? Again, get down on LeBron ass again, nigga, for the third time, nigga. Let's roll. So they can. You know what I mean? In, so they can but, beat him in two. So, so they can beat him in two. This you is know what I mean. Bold, I'll settle for three. This is a bold prediction, but. <laughs> I don't think the Lakers gonna get. Go to ahead, the make finals. the ball prediction. I don't think the Lakers is gonna get to the finals because I think the Clippers with Rondo uh-huh. is a problem, and with this seeding issue they gonna have, they gonna fuck around, have to go through Denver and the Clippers, and not one of the other. So, Duh, yeah, it's gonna be a tight fight. They three games. They three games but, out of the AC, but in the loss column. Keep this though. I, if I, if you put Brooklyn up against the Lakers in the finals, right? Two games mm-hmm. gonna be a blowout. Brooklyn by like twenty to thirty. Yeah. And two games gonna be somewhat competitive. Brooklyn by like five yeah. to ten. But it's never really no real threat of them losing. One of them te- one of them games like the game yeah. they play in the real season. This year, when basically all the Lakers was doing was fighting a blowout, one, 
the, the Lakers don't have enough scoring. They just don't have enough scoring. Like everybody on on Brooklyn can score the ball. Not at all. And they anybody. Own, and they got more I'm self. Su- they got more self sufficient players. They got more players that can just go get a bucket. You know what I'm saying? No, they can. They got niggas. You can go get it off the dribble. You yeah, feel me? Like, get it. Off I mean, the dribble from the dribble, nigga. Let's just keep it a book. Like, I'm sorry, but it might sound crazy, but Lamarcus and fucking Blake. They ain't pretty much equal a equal uh AD between the two of them. Really? You know what I'm saying? And like, who gonna guard who though? Like it's too many players you got you can't you can't hide. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you can't hide with Brooklyn, bro. Everybody gotta strap up and these niggas don't have D like that for real. They ain't got no man. Look, they ain't got no man. I watched Brooklyn play yesterday. Wesley Matthews play defense, man. Fuck out of here. I mean, Schroeder. I like. Listen, don't get me wrong, bro. I like Schroeder, but he not that. Like he not like. Man, he he ain't what they making this nigga out to be. He like. No, no, no shade, because I fuck with Lou Will, but he like a Lou Will that don't know he a Lou Will yet. <laughs> <laughs> what? He <laughs> said he a Lou Will who don't know he Lou Will yet. Like, but you know what? Like, like, okay, wild, perfect man. example. Perfect example, right? Right. Look, Deion Waiters, right? I feel you. Look, Deion uh-huh. Waiters. The reason Deion Waiters is not in the NBA is not because of talent, right? The nigga think right. he fucking D-Wade and he motherfucking Lou Will. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. He, he think he D-Wade and that nigga really, like, and, and like that nigga really Jamal Crawford. Being generous. And when I Me say that, generous. I don't even say they as good as them niggas. I'm just saying as far as accepting their role. He got nowhere near as good as them niggas when he's scoring. You know what I'm saying? As a scorer, and hell not, no. Not at no all. Shame, and I'm not even talking about, because I think Lou Will got... like swag. I think like swaggy P. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, what I'm talking about, not just, just necessarily their ability, but just being able to accept and own in that role. Because th- if Lou Will would have yeah. been on some I gotta be a superstar shit, his ass would have been out the league too. He, he, he would have been out the league a long time ago. A long time ago. So yeah. being able to 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 own a role, like, but you know what I'm saying? Schroeder ain't uh he like a six man, bro. He not like us, you know. To me, he he more beneficial as a six man. Like sometimes you need that like Ginobili pedigree off the bench, like. I might be starter talent, but I'm more valuable off the bench. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, but he mm-hmm. ain't, oh, but my, I said all that to say, like, he's still not at the same level as, like, the elite guards in the league. Like, he's not a Dame. He's not a Kyrie. He's not a Jamal Murray. He's, you know what I'm saying? Like, he. Mm-hmm. No. Nope. You know, so. Because he kind of. He all right, but he ain't. Him versus Kyrie. He ain't right, but he ain't real. He ain't real. He ain't real. It's like your verse was cold, but fat rap first. My man's like, that shit was all right. Exactly. You can't rap after low so nigga. Like, just turn the fucking song off after fat rap. Shit, just cut the shit. Just cut it off. Fat rap. Right. Just cut the shit off. You can't rap. You can't rap after low so if you ain't no song. Every song fell on, off. the song is over when that nigga get done rapping. The shit's over with. I don't even want to just stop turning the shit off. Fan rapped already. Turn this shit off. And that's exactly why niggas be having that nigga go last. <laughs> Unless you got to see how a like, man did. You got to be like, uh, so briefly. You got to be like, yeah. He knew that nigga was yelling out at the beginning. Turn out the bookers. Turn out the bookers. And whatever he was saying. But yeah. Bah, 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 bah. Nigga, as soon as Fab got down on the joint. Fab closed shop, nigga, in the song. Yeah, nigga, like, I didn't even know that was that nigga Casanova song. I thought it was a Fab joint yeah. featuring Casanova. You feel me? Get out, get out of here. Right. But, 
see. You got anything else you want to chime in, Big Fowler? No, nah, man, not really, man. Just, you know what I mean? Uh, Y'all keep, you know what I mean? Liking, liking the, liking the page, subscribing to the page. All that. You know what I mean? Liking, talk your, liking talk the content. Talk your shit in the content, too. In the comments, don't be on you know saying. Oh. Talk your shit. Hell yeah, do that. You know what I mean? Like, come at a nigga, like, you know what I mean? Like, let us know y'all's opinion. Yeah, let us know y'all's view. We might might send you a link. We we need to do a live. We need to do a live. You know what I'm saying? We might send your ass a link. You can get your ass chopped up in real life. Chopped up. Chopped up. Like chef, nigga. <laughs> nigga, like we need, hey, like we need to do a live on that joint one day. Like we need to surprise they ass and do a live for real. You know what I mean? Like I think that shit would be dope. It'd be like a little pop up shop. You know what I mean? Doing a little live. Yeah, you know what I mean? We should and do it during the game. Through. During the game? Oh yeah, for sure. A hundred, a hundred thousand percent. During during mm-hmm. a uh, during a, a good game. You know? But yeah, know. like I want y'all to comment, subscribe. You know what I mean? And and tell a friend, tell a friend to tell a friend. NBA yeah, Cooler Talk. It's a thing. You know what I mean? Tell NBA your home, tell your home boy baby. to tell ah. her side chick, to tell her side nigga, to tell her tell her baby daddy, to tell his baby mama. To tell her main nigga. To, to, to tell her main nigga, nigga. To tell his wife <laughs> to like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Hey, hey, like we ain't gonna give y'all too much and shit. Like that's on the next episode. So straight like that, you know, <laughs> straight like that. <laughs>